Hello everyone, my name is the Fox. This is going to be PlayStation 3 emulation running on the GPD Win Max 2. Up here you can see the version of RPCS3 that I'm running. It is current as of today. We are using the Vulkan backend if I go to the config real quick. Now there are some custom configs that you can use. Uh, for the most part you're going to be using kind of default settings, but a lot of times you'll be having this right color buffers checked on. So like if we go to Demon Souls and then you go to check game compatibility. This is going to be one key area where you're going to use to kind of know what you need to check because they have a wiki and other people go through all the different stuff so that you can kind of already preset a bunch of stuff. So if you just go ahead and do those settings and then if you take a look at any uh, patches, if you wanted to do anything else, those are some other additional features that you can enable. So if we take a look at here, I just have skip intro videos. And that's pretty much it. The only thing worth mentioning here is that on the CPU side, unfortunately, I cannot enable AVX 512. Uh, even when I disable all E cores and just have P cores active, this is still not active. If I take a look at it uh, with CPU Z or any other method, uh, the AVX 512 seems to be fused off, unfortunately. So I don't have access to this, which is really unfortunate as we would have gotten a huge speed boost there. But I'm still going to be able to show you some things here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at some game demos. Nice. Pyro 
turrets required to defend generators. So that's where we're going to cap off the look at PlayStation 3 emulation on the GP2 and Max 2. Again, this is the 1260p version of the GP2 and Max 2. I should have the 6800U version in relatively soon, so I'll be able to compare and contrast on those particular models. It is unfortunate that AVX 512 does appear to be fused off, and Intel has made this news public that they would be doing this to Elder Lake chips, even with trying to cap uh, park those E cores and just having the performance cores on. I still wasn't able to elect to enable AVX 512. That's this particular look at PlayStation 3 emulation on the Intel 1260p version of the GPD Win Max 2. There's still a bunch of videos that I'm going to be doing on the GPD Win Max 2, so stay tuned for that. As always, guys, thank you for your time, and thanks for watching.